very good afternoon to you out there. It is your dialing program community today. Honorable Bolaji, without wasting much of your time, can you please introduce yourself? Thank you very much. My name is Honorable Bolaji Padmos, and I represent Akinle Two State Constituency in the House of Assembly. I am the Secretary to the Parliamentary Council in the House of Assembly. I'm the Chairman House Committee on Local Government, Chief Tansi Matters and State Orders. You are very much welcome. Thank you very much. You happen to be a member of the 8th Assembly. What have been the uniqueness of the 8th Assembly of your State House of Assembly? Thank you very much. The 8th Assembly of your State House of Assembly, the uniqueness of the Assembly is about because what we are legislators are being elected for are to make laws and make laws that will be beneficial to the development of our community, our constituency and the state at large. And so far so good the House of Assembly has been able to pass a lot of uh, important laws, important bills into law. I think we are almost around over 40 bills has been passed in the House of Assembly till date. So and uh, it's not about the number of bills. Then, what are the, the the quality? What are the application? Or what are the effect of those bills? So, and most of the laws, most of the laws that has been passed, are very very important, and they have been they are they are going to impact positively to our people. That is the uniqueness. Now, in the past, we used to have. Um, there is this norm especially in your state house of assembly cracks quarrels between the executive and the legislature but in this eighth assembly it seems to be as if there is nothing like that is it that the executive have pocketed the the current eighth assembly or what can we attribute this to huh? The, 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 the secret behind that is just that, uh, you see, our environment, the site is evolving with time. And uh, with time, uh, a number of uh, uh, intelligent and uh, reliable people are joining politics. And if we look at the composition of the Earth of Assembly, the Eighth Assembly now, we will see that we have a lot of uh, people that are intellectually capable. And uh, we believe it is not until we have fracas with the governor or we have issues with ourselves that we can resolve issues. We do resolve issues amicably. We sit down, we, we, we have parliamentary council, wherein I'm the secretary of the parliamentary council. That is where we discuss vital issues. At that point, we, 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 we can uh, uh, agree to and disagree at the same time, but at the end of the day, we come up with a resolution. We are in, we have will come at the floor to display. And concerning our uh, relationship with the executive, as long as the executive is doing the right thing for the people of your state, and whatever policy they are bringing, we do scrutinize them. We don't just pass the bill that, that is being brought by the executive. That is why when bills are brought to the House of Assembly, after going through the first reading, it will go to the second reading, which, are, which is the committee level. At this level, the bills will be scrutinized, and uh, we, we, we make it uh, beneficial to the people. So, us not confronting the executive, that does not mean that we have been pocketed. No, it is, I think it is the norm that is going on in the country and in the world now. The executive and legislative arm, they are not supposed to fight before they can reach uh, uh, a good resolution. Honorable Balaji Ibanos. It's over two years down the line. Can you, in a nutshell, take us through the achievements, your achievements, as the Honorable representing Akinyele Constituent 2? Thank you very much. As a lawmaker, the constitutional requirement of a lawmaker is to represent your constituency. By representing your constituency, you make some laws or you, you sponsor some motions, you sponsor some bills 
to the house, which will be beneficial to your uh, constituency. And uh, uh, literally, the best way to judge a lawmaker should, should be...